C I E T N C E R T presents audio book Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class Three, page number forty-five, chapter number seven, saying without speaking, dumb charades. Let us play a game. In this game. Everyone has to let others know what they want to tell without speaking. Divide yourselves into groups of seven. Your teacher will give each group a piece of paper with a situation written on it. Each group will read what is written on the paper and prepare a silent act. Keep in mind that you cannot speak. You can express through your face and body actions. When all the groups are ready with their act, they have to perform one by one in front of the other groups. The others will have to guess what is being acted out. How did you like this game? Did you find it difficult to act without speaking? A picture is given on the next page. The children in the picture are talking to each other through actions. One, have you ever observed anyone talking through actions? Two, when do people need to talk like this? Page number forty-six. There is a picture given on page number forty-six. In this picture, a boy and a girl are standing and expressing themselves with the help of their hand movements. They are not speaking anything. Most of us can hear and speak, but there are some people who can neither hear nor speak. These people talk through actions. They understand what the other person is saying. by studying their lip movements all of us cannot do everything some of us sing well others write good poetry some can climb trees quickly while others can run fast some can draw well others can sing in tune we are all special in our own ways hence In schools, we can learn from each other. Like all children, children who cannot speak and hear, also go to school and read and write. In schools, sign language is taught to them. Let us read about a child who cannot hear yet who can do many things. Page number. Forty-seven. I have a sister. My sister cannot hear. I have a sister. My sister is deaf. She is special. There are not many sisters like mine. My sister can play the piano. She likes to feel the deep rumbling chords, but she will never be able to sing. She cannot hear the tune. She likes to leap, to tumble, to roll, to climb the top of the monkey bars. Now my sister has started going to my school although our mother still helps her lip read at home the teacher and children do not understand every word she says like sister or water or thumb i wore my sunglasses yesterday the frames are very large the lenses are very black my sister made me take them off when i spoke what do my brown eyes say to her brown eyes Jenny Whitehouse Peterson Extract from the poem I have a sister my sister is deaf Note Through this story it can be discussed that we have different abilities by incorporating the children's own experiences sensitivity towards this issue can be enhanced Page number 48 Our eyes tell a lot. Small children tell a lot through their face and hands, 
even before they learn to speak. They understand a lot too. There is a picture given on page number 48. This picture is divided into two parts. In first part, there is a boy shown with a happy face and glittering eyes. And on the other side, a boy is shown with sad face and eyebrows down. The face is a mirror. Observe children of about 6 to 8 months in your area. How do they express themselves? You must be wondering what kind of faces these are. They have no eyes, no nose, no mouth. You have to make these, but only after reading what is written alongside. Here on page number 48, there is an incomplete picture of a sad boy. This is Aftab. His favorite toy has fallen down and broken. He is sad. How will his face look? Page number 49. There is a picture given of an excited girl on page number 49. This is Julie. Her little sister was born just yesterday. She is very excited. How will her face look? On the same page, there is a lady and the lady is looking at her daughter. This is Yamini's mother. Today, while Yamini was taking out the bottle of pickle from the kitchen, it fell from her hand and broke. Draw the look on her mother's face. There is a picture on page number 49 of a girl. The girl is scared. This is Rihanna. She is afraid of dogs. While playing, suddenly a dog came in front of her. How will Rihanna's face look? Note, encourage children to express their feelings through various ways. This will develop their creative expression abilities. Page number 50 By looking at someone's face, we can tell if the person is happy, sad or angry. Has it ever happened that you had done some mischief and your mother found out just by looking at your face? We can talk through dance as well. In dance, the hands and face are used to convey feelings. These are called mudras and bhavs. Look at and do these mudras. Learn some more dance mudras and do them. There is a picture given on page number 50 and it is divided into four parts. In each part, there are different hand mudras and bhavs shown. Page number 51 Look at these pictures and guess. Make your own story. Tell the story to your friends and discuss. On page number 51, there are four different pictures given. In the first picture, a squirrel is dancing on a branch. In the second picture, she is cooking food on the same branch. In the third picture, she is enjoying herself while cooking food. In the fourth picture, crow and mena and some rats are eating grains fallen on the ground. Chapter 7 Seeing without speaking ends here you were just listening to the audiobook looking around textbook in environmental studies for class 3 recorded by butterlang lingdo and vikas sangwan production assistance by meenakshi kukreti produced by vimlesh chaudhary presented to you by C-I-E-T, N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.